We have an email from Jim who writes, Hello, Mother. My wife is a non-practicing Catholic. I am struggling to live the faith as it pertains to parenting my children with her. One example, my wife has read them books that I do not approve of. For example, she read a Halloween book to them that is about a song similar to the 12 Days of Christmas. If you are familiar with that song, I am. In the book, it says on the 12th day, 12 devils dancing, 11 pumpkins rolling, etc., to the tune of the 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, that's a shame. While my wife is not actively doing occult things, well, she's close to it. She's calling on the devil. While my wife is not actively doing occult things, she thinks this type of thing is harmless to the children. It is not. I wish she would yield to my judgment on this. In situations like this, I don't know what to do. I feel scared to throw the book out, as she does not want me to do this, and will like me see it will like me see me doing so as being controlling, which she certainly will. But I also feel that like I'm letting the devil into my household if I don't throw it out. This is just one example. Also, a possible scenario I could envision as our children get older is getting pushback occasionally on taking the children to Mass. She is not opposed to them going to Mass in general. However, I do not think she believes there's a problem with them missing Mass if she thinks something else is more important to do that day. How do I respond if I want to take the children to Mass? And she insists I do not because in her mind, it is convenient for us, inconvenient for us, to go that day. Oh, Jim, this is an awful situation. I, we're in the middle of an email from Jim. It's a very difficult email. Uh, Jim is Catholic, and he's struggling to live the faith and parent his children uh, uh, in the Catholic faith. His wife, he says, is a non-practicing Catholic, and she doesn't have the sensitivity for what is Catholic. Uh, she's reading children to her children, not only non-Catholic uh, books, but books that could, e are, could be harmful and are harmful to their Catholic understanding. Um, he doesn't know whether to throw the book out or what to do. Um, and she, he's concerned that they must be very little children because he said as the children get older, um, he's concerned about her not wanting to even take them to Mass at times if there are other things come up that she considers more important. Jim says, given, given my situation, I'm wondering what advice you may have for me. I'm finding it extremely difficult to raise our children the way I want to. Given my wife's beliefs, I don't think she wants to give in to my decisions on some of these matters, Jim. Apparently she does not, Jim. Uh, that's a marriage that should not have taken place. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you were where your wife was when you got married. But if you were married in the Catholic Church, if your marriage is sacramental, and you were married in the Church, then both of you agreed to raise your children Catholic. And so you have every right to say in a very loving manner, sweetheart, um, we vowed before God. We didn't just agree as two individuals. We vowed before God to raise our children Catholic. And if we're reading them non-Catholic things, we're going against the faith and against God. And um, it, we, to, to raise our children Catholic, and I'm guessing you've baptized them, and if they're baptized, uh, you need to help your wife understand that they may not miss Mass. It will be a very grave sin for those children to miss Mass if they are Catholic. Um, when we vowed to raise our children Catholic, dear, dear one, um, my dear wife, um, we vowed to obey God in the church he established. And I know that you're not deep in the faith, you don't believe it all, I, I understand that, but we made those vows before God. And they may not mean that much to you, but a vow to God broken is extremely serious and puts me in a very, very difficult position, and you're putting me and the children in that position. So I beg you, where it becomes matters of the Catholic faith, I don't ask you to do whatever you cannot do, but I ask you to allow me to be the judge 
of what is Catholic and not, so that our children, we keep our vow before God and raise our children Catholic. Um, Jim, if your wife will not go along with that, you need to explain to her how serious this is and that she will be causing her children to turn from God and to grow up in sin. Um, I wouldn't throw the book out. I would be as loving a husband and a father as you could possibly be. Uh, do go overboard to love your wife, to lay down your life for her, uh, to be a hero, not mushy, not soft, not weak, but strong, and let her know that you love her. Um, if, uh, if she never becomes a strong Catholic, you love her. Um, uh, do what you can. Love is alone converts hearts. Love her and ask God to help you to know where the battles lie. And so if she reads that book to your children, speak to her very lovingly apart from the children. Don't let them hear you even if they're two years old. They should never hear you talking to your wife or correcting one another. Um, speak to her privately and say, sweetheart, I, I know you wouldn't do anything that you think is harmful for our children. I know that. But in the Catholic world, it is harmful. Uh, it is harmful. It's not what Halloween is about. We don't want to bring dancing devils into our lives or children, children's lives. It is harmful, sweetheart. And, and I ask you if you would uh, you just throw that book out. And if she says, no, no, I, I want it, I, I would do what I can to keep the peace. Um, and be as loving as you can and don't put your foot down on every little thing. Let your love, let your life of love, um, your witness, let that, let God use that to change their hearts. Um, you may not raise your children the way you want to, but uh, your number one responsibility is not raising your children, it is loving your wife. And if God will convert her heart through your love, together you will raise your children. Archbishop Chapu said the greatest gift a father can give his children is to love their mother. Because children learn what they see. If they see division, if they see strife, if they see disagreement, they're never going to believe you or their mother. Um, they need to believe what they see. So make your wife your project to love and let God convert her heart.